Singer George Bonfill got a second chance at life. When his wife took action and recognized the signs, he was having a stroke and called 911 immediately. Now he says it's his time to give back. February 6, 2013, she saved my life. It's hard to believe looking at him now that 10 years ago, Pierre George Bonfill nearly died. He suffered a stroke and was rushed to the emergency room where he underwent surgery to repair bleeding in his brain. It was his wife's quick thinking that saved his life. If it wasn't for her, I would not be here talking to you. She's your angel. She's my angel. She's, she definitely is. Bonfill says he's telling his story because if it can happen to him, a healthy, successful attorney with no prior health problems, it can happen to anyone. Why do you think you made it? Well, because there's a lot that I need to do yet. The first thing I do every morning when I wake up is I say thank you. Bonfill still feels the effects now and then, weakness on his left side and moments of confusion. I had to relearn how to walk. Like even when I walk downstairs now, I have to remember to put one leg in front of the other. But he feels that what he's been through has given him a sense of purpose. You have a lot of power. You have we a lot do. of power. We you do. have a big heart, too. I do have a big heart. <laughs> <laughs> now he works full time yes. and is a partner at Dwayne Morris and spends hundreds of hours every year giving pro bono services to immigrants who need legal representation. He's won cases that were life or death for transgender asylum seekers who can't return to their home country. What do you think of people calling you the lawyer with the golden heart? I feel that giving back is so important. He also helps raise awareness with the American Heart Association. There are about 800,000 people who have a stroke each year in this country. Dr. Neil Parikh is a neurologist at Weill Cornell. He says stories like Bonfils are a critical demonstration of why it's so important to know the signs and act fast. I like to tell people to think in terms of acting fast, F-A-S-T. So if you notice that your face is drooping or if your arm is weak, if your speech is slurred or unintelligible or in in incoherent, it's time to call 911. Recovery is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And if you'd like more information about strokes or the warning signs, just go to Monica Morales TV on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now TikTok. Scan the QR code right here and we'll link you there.